Here with Levita in another exit interview. Levita, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, um, in really great spirits, and yeah. Are you surprised that the House guests didn't vote you back in? I am surprised in the sense that it would have been probably a lot smarter for them to vote me back in. I mean, I only had two votes in my favor when I was evicted, uh, one in which got evicted out of the House, so realistically, I would have had no one. I was a free agent, whereas Kelsey had her ties and bonds in the house. So I can't say that. I, I was surprised, but at the same time, too, everybody in that house thinks differently. So That's exactly what I was going to say next. It's just like, why would they vote somebody who has two strong allies in? What do you think it came down to? I believe it came down to people's placement and positioning in the house. So Jared and Raul were outwardly there for Kelsey. So nobody was surprised when they said they want Kelsey to come back, whereas some people that were playing a more sly game that don't want to know others to know where their affiliations lie wouldn't be as outward about who they wanted to come back in, especially if it's me, because that would give away maybe their gameplay, like someone like Mitch. Um, also, I just feel that there are people in the house that are a lot more reserved and they're afraid to speak up because they don't want to, you know, go against the house or stand out. So, yeah. I want to talk about your second reign as HOH. You decided to put up Cassandra and Christine, and a lot of people were just like, well, why didn't she take a shot at, like, Jared and Kelsey and some of the power players? Can you sort of elaborate on the thought process behind that move? Absolutely. One thing I identified with Jared, Raul, and Kelsey is that they were already a target. I also recognize the fact that for three people to support each other in that way, there must be true trust. And in a game of Big Brother, that's something that's hard to find. So I wanted to turn the tables and work with them. And I use this as an opportunity to do so. And Christine and Cassandra, I felt like Cassandra's game was very easy for me to read. I felt that she was that person that was building alliances all around the house, telling everybody what they wanted to hear. And it was just, she wasn't somebody that I trusted. And Christine had outwardly expressed uh, her, the fact that she had disliked me. And it was just, there were reasons. You always have to justify why you put somebody on the block. And I thought it was the best move for my game that would advance me uh, in the house. And uh, that's why I made that move. What about the people that sort of thought that, you know, you were sort of using Joel to do your dirty work? You know, like, I didn't want to do it, but it's okay if I can get Joel to do it. Um, I felt offended by that because Joel is a 33-year-old man, and I think that, that making a statement like that is also, um, you know, commenting on him as a person because uh, people had said he was gullible and had opinions of Joel. However, Joel got into this house just like everybody else, and he knows the game inside and out, and he is playing his own game. But in the same way that Jared protected somebody that he cared about in the game, which was Kelsey, by putting myself and Shari up, you know, Joel and myself both were in this together. And Joel knew that I had his back and I supported him. So, um, yeah, I think that there's a lot of things that people don't see that goes on in the house. And, uh, you know, Joel had my back when things were being said and kind of said, that's not fair to say. So the biggest question that I have for you, actually, the really the biggest question that I have for you is like this whole thing when you were with Kelsey in the secret suite and you were sort of trading information back and forth, you sort of gave up that Mitch was with you guys. Is there any part of you that wish you hadn't said that because you're sort of giving up an ally um, to sort of help somebody that Kel in Kelsey that you didn't really get along with? Well, Big Brother is a game of twists. And as somebody that is a lover of the game and is separating, you know, people from that component, I saw it as this is an opportunity for one of us to be equipped to go back in and really do well in this house. And that twist was there for a reason. And Mitch being such a good player, you can tell that he's uh, extremely good at what he's doing. He knows the game. He's a strategist. And I, I felt that at the end of all this, he'll respect the move. Maybe it sucks because his game's going to be tainted, maybe even ruined. He might even go home this week. But I definitely wanted to um, show Kelsey that I am a game player. And for me, I have no problem giving her all the information I have because this is what Big Brother is about. Taking opportunities, taking chances, and utilizing the information, you know, when it's best suited. And one of us is going to be evicted. One of us was going back in. So I thought that was a prime time. And just two more questions for you. That move where Maddie decided to backdoor you was probably, in, in my opinion, the most nonsensical move I've ever seen in reality television. What was the thought process? I mean, I've sat there and I've thought about it like forever, and I literally cannot come up with a single reason why. 
Well, Maddie uh, was really closely affiliated with uh, Ramsey as well as Dallas, and those are two people in the house that I really enjoyed spending time with. And I had noticed that whenever I was getting close with them, you could you could kind of see that she was like kind of get away from my my people. So I think that was one, I, that was a reason why she was threatened by me. But another component I do believe would be Cassandra. I feel as though Cassandra may have shared some information with Maddie, may have made Maddie feel as though I would be coming for her or I'm a threat, and maybe even other people, but specifically Cassandra. And um, I think that, yeah, Maddie made a move based on emotion and feeling in the game and maybe what people have, have were telling her. And, yeah, that's all I can think of. And finally, you know, I always ask this question to all the people that sit on this chair. If I had a wild card sort of power in my pocket and I gave it to you and you could evict anyone, who would you pick and why? Like, who doesn't Levita have any love for? The brothers. <laughs> and why? I would evict the brothers because the very move that I didn't didn't do, which was allow Dallas to use the veto to backdoor the brothers when the whole house was on board, was the very move that they did to get me evicted. The brothers knowingly used a veto and even voted with the house to get me backdoored. So if I could go back in time, I would have put up the brothers and evicted them. And if there's one, one set of people in that house that could leave and I wouldn't feel any way about it, I'm sorry, guys. I like you. You guys are awesome people, but the brothers. <laughs> I like it, Levita. Thank you so much. Thank you.